A sinkhole in southwest Austin may provide some important information for protecting one of our city's most precious resources, the Edwards Aquifer. KXAN's Doug Shoup explains what researchers are doing to get a better understanding of how groundwater flows. Rains in late January caused this 20-foot deep sinkhole near William Cannon and Mopac. When the ground opened up, a retention pond failed. That pond is supposed to collect parking lot runoff and treat it naturally. It's re-irrigated uh, around the uh, develop, development and the natural vegetation actually helps clean up the water before it can enter the aquifer. But the sinkhole sent several million gallons of untreated water into the ground. To stop that dirty water from entering the aquifer, the owners have blocked up the pipes that feed water to this pond and have diverted to an adjacent water quality pond. City of Austin geologist Scott Hires says usually sinkholes are found before construction projects, not after. But since this happened, the city and Edwards Aquifer Conservation District are using it to their advantage. They put non-toxic dye into the hole to track the flow of water underground into wells and springs. Development here is increasing around the, around the springs. And the way pollution works, it's I guess complicated to see where it comes from and so yeah I think it makes sense that there's an initiative to sort of find out how that works. Finding out exactly where that water flow will end up and how long it will take to get there gives city leaders the opportunity to prepare for a potential hazardous materials spill which could one day be crucial to saving the springs and the Barton Springs salamander. If there is like a huge spill on Mopac or William Cannon we can tell well if it were to make it to a sinkhole feature or a cave feature nearby, how long we would have to respond, maybe at Barton Springs, to um, save the salamanders, pull them or leave them if we don't think it's, it's a big, large enough spill to cause harm. It's a helpful test that came from bad circumstance. If it's protect to the environment, I think that that's a, a great measure to take. But let's don't loosen regulations. Let's keep things protecting the, the aquifer and Barton Springs and the salamanders. Now, the city will continue to monitor wells along the aquifer as well as water in Barton Springs and Cold Springs. They'll know where the dye ends up in a few weeks. As for that sinkhole, the owner of the property will work with the city and Texas Commission on Environmental Quality to come up with a plan to fix it. Live in the studio tonight, Doug Shoup, KXAN News.